a gate, sealed shut for centuries, is believed to only open when Jesus returns. But suddenly, against all expectations, it swings wide open. This isn't just any gate, it's the Eastern Gate, also known as the Golden Gate or the Gate of Mercy. Could this be the sign we've been waiting for? Is Jesus' return imminent? Join us in this video to learn about the mystery of the opened gate. Let's understand what it could mean for the future and discuss how to prepare. So without further ado, let's dive into this video today to know the truth behind this astonishing event and what it might signify for the world. In the heart of Jerusalem stands a gate of great significance known as the Golden Gate. This gate holds immense importance in the eyes of many, but for a long time it has remained shut tight. Why? Well, there's an old prophecy attached to it. This prophecy foretold that the gate would remain closed until a special person, the Messiah, returns. It's like a secret waiting to unfold. But recently, something unexpected happened. The gate swung open. This sudden turn of events has sparked curiosity and speculation among many. What could it possibly signify? Located on the city's eastern side, this gate leads to a revered area called the Temple Mount. Despite its destruction ages ago, it continues to hold deep significance for various religions around the world. Each year, people from far and wide make pilgrimages to visit this sacred site. The Golden Gate stands proudly in the northern part of the eastern wall of the Temple Mount. With its rich history, this wall was constructed in stages by different rulers, including Hezekiah, Zerubbabel, and King Herod. It is believed that the present Golden Gate was built upon the remains of an older gate that once occupied the same spot. Remarkably, beneath the sealed entrance lies an ancient arch, a silent witness to the passage of time and the layers of history that envelop this mysterious gate. Historian Josephus provides insight into an eastern gate that held significance within the inner sacred court. This particular gate was situated at the far northeastern edge of the area. The Mishnah, a Jewish text, also describes a pathway connecting the Temple Mount to the Mount of Olives. However, there's some debate over whether this pathway was a causeway or comprised pillars with boards on top. Reserved Significance and Symbolism Known as the Shushan Gate, this entrance wasn't accessible to everyone. Reserved exclusively for the high priest and his assistants during special ceremonies like Yom Kippur, it held a distinguished status. Beyond its practical function, this gate carries profound symbolism. Some beliefs suggest that it is through this gate that the Messiah will enter Jerusalem. It's also believed to be the very gate through which Jesus entered the city in ancient times. People often gather nearby to pray for the rebuilding of the temple and for the gate to reopen. However, uncertainties shroud the exact origins of the current Golden Gate. Restricted archaeological access at the Temple Mount complicates efforts to determine its age definitively. Earlier scholars held differing opinions regarding its antiquity, underscoring this historical landmark's ongoing mystery. The Gate's Origins Byzantine or Umayyad Construction Scholars have long debated the origins of the Golden Gate, with some theories dating it before the Islamic era. However, recent research suggests a more probable construction period during the 7th and 8th centuries AD, possibly under Umayyad rule. There's a scholarly dispute whether the gate was built around 520 AD during the Byzantine era or later in the 7th century by Byzantine craftsmen under Umayyad patronage. In the 1970s, archaeologist Leanne Ritten investigated the gate and discovered massive gate posts inside, which he believes belong to an older gate known as the Shushan Gate, dating back to the First Temple period. Philosopher Mayanese mentioned in his writings about the Second Temple period, describing how entering through the East Gate led to a level path before ascending 12 steps to the Court of Women. The Golden Gate holds profound significance for Christianity, Judaism, and Islam. Yet, it has remained closed for centuries, steeped in religious and historical implications. Legend traces its closure back to the 16th century when Sultan Suleiman of the Ottoman Empire decided to seal it shut. This act wasn't merely about fortification, 
but carry deep religious meaning for Christians, Jews, and Muslims alike. For Christians, it was believed to fulfill an ancient prophecy from the book of Ezekiel. The prophecy says that the gate should remain shut until a special prince, often interpreted as Jesus, comes through it. Jesus is central to Christian theology, being seen as the conduit for salvation and the bridge connecting humanity to God. Thus, the closed gate symbolizes the exclusive path to salvation through Jesus Christ. However, the closed gate's significance extends beyond religious beliefs. It embodies faith and hope for many. People perceive it as a harbinger of something greater, signaling the return of Jesus and the fulfillment of God's divine plan for the world. Beyond its physical presence, the gate represents a profound promise between humanity and the divine, shrouded in secrets and untold stories that stir curiosity and wonder. In the ancient city of Jerusalem, known for its eight main gates, the Eastern Gate holds a unique distinction due to its closure. Also referred to as the Gate of Mercy or Shar Harachamim, it stands as a silent sentinel, beckoning contemplation and reflection on the mysteries that lie beyond its sealed entrance. Historical Significance in Hebrew Tradition in Hebrew tradition, the Golden Gate holds immense importance due to its direct path to the site where the Jewish temple once stood. This connection makes it a revered site for many. Within the gate are two doors, each bearing its name, the Gate of Mercy and the Gate of Repentance. Some traditions claim it to be the oldest gate in the city, dating back to the time of King Solomon, although there's no concrete evidence to support this claim. In 1541, Ottoman Sultan Suleiman decided to seal the Golden Gate, transforming its appearance into what we see today, a sizable gate with two entrances securely shut. Situated on the northern part of the eastern wall of the Temple Mount, it was built atop an older gate. Throughout history, the gate underwent various alterations, starting from the reign of King Hezekiah and continuing through the rule of other leaders like Zerubbabel the Hasmoneans, and even during the era of King Herod. The exact timing of the current Golden Gate's construction remains uncertain, but some speculate it may have been built around the 7th or 8th century AD, adding another layer to its rich and enigmatic history. Scholars engage in fervent debate regarding the Golden Gate's origins, drawing upon references from ancient texts such as Josephus's Antiquities of the Jews and the Mishnah to glean insights into older gates and their functions. Notably, scholars like Lien Rietum, a Dutch scholar, suggest that certain parts of the gate may date back to the time of the first temple. During the Ottoman period, a small mosque was constructed near the gate, only to be later demolished to accommodate renovations. Over time, two new arches and a new wall were incorporated into the gate's structure, altering its original design. Intricate design and architectural features. The gate's design has undergone several modifications, including the addition of arches and changes to its interior. Within the gate, a rectangular building with two ornate facades stands out, contrasting with other sections of the Temple Mount. Notably, one side of the gate protrudes more prominently than usual. Inside the gate, visitors encounter a unique layout. Two passages, one on the lower and the other on the upper levels, lead to distinct areas. The lower level features a spacious hall adorned with columns, leading to two doors, the Door of Mercy and the Door of Repentance. Upstairs, a room with domed roofs and original architectural elements awaits exploration. Originally, the Golden Gate boasted two grand doorways, but these were later sealed off. Its architectural style is similar to that of other structures in the vicinity. Beyond these sealed entrances lies a spacious rectangular chamber crowned with a domed ceiling. Initially adorned with six domes, only two remain today, supported by elegant arches and columns. The Golden Gate, also known as the Eastern Gate of Jerusalem, features a unique design that distinguishes it from the surrounding wall. This gate has witnessed multiple openings and closures throughout history under various rulers. Initially sealed by Muslims in 810, Crusaders reopened it in 1102, 
only to be sealed once more by Saladin in 1187. Later, the Ottoman Sultan Suleiman rebuilt the gate and the city walls, sealing it shut again in 1541, where it has remained closed ever since. Symbolism and Religious Beliefs Speculation surrounds Sultan Suleiman's decision to seal the gate, with some suggesting it was to thwart the entry of a false messiah or antichrist. Beliefs about the messiah vary across different faiths, including Islam, Judaism, and Christianity. However, they share a common reverence for Jesus of Nazareth as the Messiah. In front of the Golden Gate lies a cemetery, believed to serve as a barrier against the passage of false messiahs or their precursors. In 2003, Israeli authorities took action to close the entrance to the gate amid concerns of unauthorized construction work potentially damaging ancient artifacts. The significance of the gate extends beyond its physical presence, intertwining with biblical prophecy. According to the book of Ezekiel, a gate is to remain shut because the Lord, the God of Israel, has entered through it. This connection to prophecy has led many to view the Golden Gate as evidence supporting the Bible's authenticity. In Christian belief, the closed gate aligns with the prophecy that it will only be opened for a special prince, believed to be Jesus Christ. Interestingly, this prophecy, dating back to around 600 BC, coincides with the actions of Sultan Suleiman, who sealed the Eastern Gate in 1541, seemingly fulfilling Ezekiel's prophecy. Attempts to open the gate have faced resistance throughout history. During the Six-Day War, some Jewish military members sought to blow it open, but a Jewish leader opposed the idea, asserting that only the Messiah could open it. In 1917, plans by Muslim leaders to demolish the gate were thwarted as the city passed into British control. Jewish rabbis continue to anticipate the Messiah's arrival, believing he will enter through the Eastern Gate as a divine leader. In an effort to assert control over the city, Muslims sealed the Golden Gate and placed a cemetery in front of it, aiming to prevent a rabbi from crossing. Ironically, their actions unknowingly aligned with prophecy, fulfilling it in unexpected ways. Some individuals reference Acts 2, where Peter quotes a prophecy from Joel to grasp the significance of the Golden Gate. However, unlike other biblical events, Jesus does not directly mention the Eastern Gate. Therefore, while some view the gate as a harbinger of future events, it's crucial to base conclusions on clear scripture. Although some associate the Golden Gate with Ezekiel's prophecy, biblical scholars clarify that Ezekiel's gate refers to the Temple Gate, not the present-day Golden Gate. This distinction helps in understanding the gate's significance within its historical and religious context. Jewish Tradition and Messianic Beliefs In Jewish tradition, the sealed Eastern Gate of Jerusalem holds profound significance, linked to the return of the Shekinah, a divine presence during the Messianic Age. It is seen as a symbolic representation, possibly indicating the future East Gate of the Millennial Temple due to its location and prolonged closure. Around 500 years ago, Sultan Suleiman, a Muslim leader, attempted to thwart the Messiah's arrival by sealing the Eastern Gate with cement. This aligned with beliefs regarding the Messiah's anticipated entrance through this gate in Jewish tradition. The sealing of the Golden Gate has captured the interest of prophecy scholars and believers alike. In the book of Ezekiel, references to a gate facing east have sparked interpretations among Christians, who often see these passages as referring to Jesus Christ. For Christians, Jesus' triumphant entry into Jerusalem symbolizes the glory of God. The sealing of the gate is viewed as a prediction of its closure by Muslims in 1540. Some Christians anticipate the gate's reopening upon Christ's return for the second coming, as described in Zechariah 14, 4. This connection between Jesus and the sealed Eastern Gate holds significant importance in Christian theology. Christians believe that Jesus fulfilled Old Testament prophecies and is the sole path to salvation, as affirmed in John 14, 6. Consequently, the sealed gate symbolizes the exclusive route to salvation through Jesus Christ. Anticipation of the Second Coming Christian faith is intertwined with the anticipation of Jesus reopening the gate during His Second Coming. 
This event is perceived as fulfilling God's divine plan and establishing His kingdom on earth. Understanding the sealed gate requires delving into its historical and theological importance. In the past, certain Muslim figures associated the Eastern Wall of Jerusalem with the concept of the Last Day, using it metaphorically to interpret Quranic verses. The Eastern Gate, also known as the Golden Gate, holds profound significance across different religions. Muslims believe that Allah's final judgment will occur at the Eastern Gate. Christians and Jews, on the other hand, tie their interpretations to messianic events. In Jewish tradition, the gate is linked to the Shekinah, or divine presence, expected to reappear with the arrival of the Messiah. Christians view it as the gate through which Jesus entered on Palm Sunday, symbolizing his arrival as the Messiah. In Muslim tradition, it is known as the Golden Gate, or the Gate of Eternal Life, representing final judgment and resurrection. Art and tradition often depict various events at the gate, such as the meeting of Jesus' grandparents or the crossing of the threshold, symbolizing the transition between earthly and heavenly realms. These depictions illustrate the gate's significance in bridging the temporal and spiritual worlds and its role in various religious narratives and beliefs. The Golden Gate's eastward orientation holds deep significance in Christian theology. It aligns with beliefs surrounding Christ's resurrection and the anticipation of His second coming. This alignment underscores the gate's spiritual significance within Christian narratives. Throughout history, city gates have often housed religious artifacts for protection and blessing. This tradition dates back to ancient times and reflects the belief in divine intervention and safeguarding through religious symbols. Some Muslims associate the eastern wall of the holy site with the concept of the last day, based on interpretations of religious texts. This belief has led to the tradition of burying the dead just outside the eastern wall of the enclave, symbolizing an association with eschatological themes. Symbolism of Bab al-Rama Gate of Mercy Within Islamic teachings, the gate known as Bab al-Rama, or the Gate of Mercy, may symbolize entry to paradise or a path to mercy. This symbolic interpretation underscores the gate's spiritual significance within the Islamic faith and tradition. In Jewish tradition, the divine presence, known as the Shekinah, used to manifest through the Eastern Gate and will return with the arrival of the Messiah. This belief has led Jews to pray for mercy at the former gate location, particularly during periods like the Crusades, when access to the city, including the Western Wall, was restricted. Ancient texts outside the Bible refer to the Golden Gate as the Gate of Mercy, attributing significance beyond biblical stories. Some non-biblical accounts mention the Golden Gate as the place where Mary's parents met, symbolizing Mary's immaculate conception. This narrative became a popular theme in artworks depicting Mary's life. There's debate regarding whether the Golden Gate is the same as the Beautiful Gate mentioned in the Bible. Some suggest a connection, while others disagree. This confusion may stem from linguistic similarities between the Latin word for golden and the Greek word for beautiful. However, there's insufficient evidence to support this theory definitively. Jesus' entry and messianic prophecy. Another belief posits that Jesus entered Jerusalem through the Golden Gate on Palm Sunday riding a donkey, thus fulfilling a prophecy about the Messiah from the book of Ezekiel. The Synoptic Gospels support this notion by describing Jesus coming from the Mount of Olives and immediately arriving at the Temple Mount. However, the Gospel of John offers a different perspective, indicating that the Pharisees observed his arrival from the Temple Mount. Interpretations of Ezekiel's prophecy surrounding the gate vary among scholars. Some view it through a spiritual lens, suggesting it represents the church or spiritual concepts rather than a literal gate. Conversely, others adopt a historical grammatical approach, emphasizing the text's original meaning. They argue that Ezekiel's writings refer to a temple gate symbolizing the presence of God, rather than a specific physical gate in Jerusalem during Jesus' time or in the present day. The Golden Gate is associated with various stories, including its connection with Mary's parents, Jesus' entry into Jerusalem, and interpretations of Ezekiel's prophecy. 
These narratives hold significance in Christian traditions and influence interpretations of biblical texts. Debates persist regarding the identity of the gate and the precise meaning of Ezekiel's prophecy. Interpretations vary among scholars, reflecting differing theological and methodological approaches. Christian artists often depicted scenes of Jesus' maternal grandparents, Joachim and Anne, meeting at the Golden Gate in medieval times. This imagery symbolized ideals of purity and chastity within marriage. Additionally, the tradition of a bridegroom carrying his bride across the threshold of their new home may have originated from the symbolism associated with the Golden Gate. In Christian artwork, the concept of the Immaculate Conception of Mary, the mother of Jesus, is often depicted in images featuring Mary, her mother Anne, and Jesus. This imagery, known as the Matzah, symbolizes three generations of faith and purity. Pope John Paul II explored these themes in his writings, particularly in works such as Theology of the Body and Crossing the Threshold of Hope. Pope John Paul II used the metaphor of crossing a threshold to symbolize the transition from earthly life to heavenly existence. This metaphor encouraged Catholics to confront challenges posed by materialism and secularism. In Christian belief, the East holds special significance. Sunrise in the East symbolizes Christ's resurrection on Easter Sunday and the anticipation of His second coming. Therefore, Christian sanctuaries often face East, symbolizing the hope and expectation of Christ's return. City gates in Christian communities also hold religious significance. They often house artifacts meant to protect the city and bless travelers. For example, the Ustra Brahma in Vilnius, Lithuania, houses an icon called Our Lady of the Gate of Dawn, revered by both Roman Catholics and Orthodox Christians. At last, the Golden Gate holds symbolic importance in Christian theology, representing purity, transition, and the hope of Christ's return. Through art, literature, and religious practices, Christians have celebrated these themes for centuries finding spiritual meaning in earthly symbols. So what do you think of the recent event taking place at the Golden Gate or the Gate of Mercy? Comment below and subscribe for more.